Hello. There are some changes a few days away, but uh, certainly for the next several days, it's more high pressure, more dry and mostly cloudy conditions. This is the satellite picture, the visible satellite. So as the sun came up, we saw how the cloud is sitting across the UK again. There are a few holes once more. Western Scotland should do OK for sunshine. And uh, we've got the breeze bringing in some thicker cloud across eastern England, thick enough for a little bit of drizzly rain here and there. West Wales, southwest. England with a bit of shelter from the hills and mountains may also see the cloud breaking up to reveal a bit of blue sky. But for most of us, grey is the colour. See a few more showers coming into the Northern Isles uh, through the afternoon as well. In the sunshine in central and western Scotland, it feels pretty pleasant. Temperatures getting to about average 14, maybe 15 degrees. And a bit of sunshine down across the southwest could also see those temperatures getting into the mid to high teens. Under the thicker cloud, though, it feels quite cool, just 12 or 13 Celsius. And uh, not very pleasant when those drizzly showers come along, of which there'll be more through the night across the east coast and at times over the northern isles of Scotland. But for most, it'll be a dry night with some clear skies, parts of central and western Scotland could see some misty conditions, maybe a little bit of fog forming, and temperatures may dip close to freezing where skies stay clear. But for most, that cloud's just acting like a blanket, keeping the temperatures up at 8, 9, 10, maybe even 11 Celsius in some places. On to the details for Wednesday, and it's um, a very similar story to Tuesday. Most places dry and drab. Again, eastern parts of England seeing some drizzly showers at times. Northern Scotland may also continue to see some light showers moving through. But of course, mainland parts of northern Scotland, again, that's where we're likely to be favoured for some sunshine once any early morning mist has gone. And again, with the breeze coming in from the east, it'll the western parts of Wales, southwest England, that may see some breaks in the cloud and a hint or two of sunshine. But um, that's pretty much it. Again, temperatures really dependent on whether we see the uh, sun coming out. That makes such a big difference to the feel. 15, 16 degrees with a bit of sunshine, just here, 11 or 12, where it stays glum all day and feeling quite cool. Not a great deal of change for the rest of this working week. We've got high pressure sitting right over us. It waddles a bit to the north and it, it waddles a bit to the east, but generally keeping things dry and cloudy for Friday and Saturday. By the time we get to Sunday, that high is just pulling away a little more, which just opens the door to some changes. The ice bar starting to squidge together, weather fronts trying to push in. Question marks about the timing, but it does look as if we'll start to see something turning a bit wetter as we go through the weekend into the early part of next week. For more on that, you'll want to keep up to date with the latest. We'll have more in our deep dive. That'll be available on Tuesday afternoon. The best way to keep up to date is to subscribe to our YouTube channel.